If Picasso is considered the Beethoven of painters and Matisse the Mozart, then David Hockney is considered the novel coward of the painting world. Back in the 1960s, when he first started exhibiting, first in London and then from his base in Los Angeles, he was the it artist. Hip, gay, cool, a personification for the stuffy art world of the freewheeling spirit of those heady times. Nowadays, nobody in the black turtleneck and heavy-framed spectacles world of serious art thinks much of David Hockney. Like Noel Coward's music, his work is dismissed as light, facile, enjoyable to be sure, but lacking in that heft and depth, that engagement with the most profound experiences of life that we are supposed to look for in art. Well, bollocks to that. In his most recent pictures, Hockney just goes out into the woods, sets up his easel and canvas, and paints what he sees. Gone is the irony, the obsessive precision of his splash paintings. Now his brush is loose, descriptive, combining areas of colour with drawn marks that are, as it were, confidently slapdash. He doesn't care that he is now preoccupied with something as square and unfashionable as landscape painting. He seems to be reaching back to the vocabulary of Matisse and finding that there is still something left to be said with using pure colour to describe both the real world and the sensations of the painter who is looking at that real world. Noel Coward may not be Mozart, but then again, Mozart is not Noel Coward. <laughs>